dear learners welcome to the session creation of genomeo moodle course moodle moodle is nothing but the modular object oriented dynamic learning environment moodle is a lms learning management system it is a free open source software it is used for online learning teaching process it is a online learning platform that provides custom learning environments for the students educator can use moodle to create a lessons manage course and interact with teachers and students at the end of this session the learners will be able to create open source cloud based genomeo site into that the learners will be able to add course into your genomeo site and last the learners will be able to add topics or lessons into your genomeo course so this is a site address on which we are able to create our genomeo site so just open it the pop up window will ask a create your site by providing url so you have to select a proper url it should be between 2 and 32 lower case letters so i will give a name online fdp.genomeo.com then i will provide email and then last i will click on create site so next window will appear and it will gives message to us that email has been sent with login details so just open your email and to see whether the email has received or not here i have received a email from genomeo so just open it so they have sent the moodle site address along with the login information so moodle site is online fdp.genomeo.com always the site created on genomeo having suffix genomeo.com it will not start with www along with they have given the login information you can change your username and password from update profile link available in genomeo site so just open the created genomeo site that is online fdp.genomeo.com so you will be at here then try to find out the login option which is available at right corner so just click on the right top corner that is log in and then provide the username and password which you have get on your email so just type the username and password and then click on login then you will find a dashboard at right hand side it consist of dashboard site home calendar private files and site administration tab so click on site home next so you will be here by default it will gives a tutorial for the moodle here is a system gear box or setting gear box you can click here and click on turn editing on always remember if you want to add something into your genomeo site you have to first do this setting so click on this setting here and click on turn editing on once you click on it then scroll down then you will be able to find a add a new course tab at the bottom so just click on that in order to add a new course so we are in the window of add a new course so just provide a course full name short name and other information which is required so i will provide the course name course short name then also you can hide your course until the setting should not completed you can set a start date as well as end date you can also disable the end date also 
you can provide a course id number and then scroll down to provide a description for course summary in course summary there is text editor options we will see it later then scroll down you can upload a file also for your course or you may be keep it as a blank then do a settings for course format so just click on it you can select a format of your course either it is single activity format or social format topic formats and weekly format as we are going to create its topics format as we have a lessons the next setting is number of sections by default the four sections has been added into your course maximum we can able to add 52 sections in the course created in genomeo site the next setting is course layout either you can choose uh, show all sections on one page that is all topics on one page or one topic per page so i will select a uh, choose all sections on one page next is appearance so by default it has been set then go for files and uploads so students or users can able to upload a file having size less than 100 mb the next setting is completion tracking this setting is very important to track the progress of users so enable completion tracking must be yes in order to track the completion of course by the participants the next is groups you may form a group or leave it as default the next setting is role renaming so rename the roles if you want or keep it as blank for example if you want to change the teacher role from teacher to resource person so you can just type the resource person in front of teacher and then lastly go to the save and return option so just click on save and return so you will be at site home now site home showing the name of course along with the course summary so just click on the course name next so now you are in a course on a left hand side there is navigation drawer in between you are able to see the name of course in front of name of course there is a system gear you can able to click on it to see the options now just observe this screen and then click on the system gear box so you will get this pop up window having the different option so just click on turn editing on option once you click here see the changes on your screen so here we can able to add an activity or resource we can able to edit op option is available for us now we want to change the topic names for that purpose you have to click on this pen button once you click here and type the new name of topic remember that to save the new name you have to press enter if you press escape it will be cancel so in order to save the new name for topic you have to press enter so i will press enter so name get change likewise you have to repeat the process for the next topic so i have already renamed the four topics but i want to add a two more topics for that purpose i have to first find out the add topic link here is a add topic links so just click on the add topics the pop up window will ask the number of sections so just i will make it two and click on add topics so two topics is added then repeat the same process for rename renaming the topics so names has been changed 
so likewise you can add a different number of topics into your course depending upon the number of lessons or number of chapters in your subjects likewise you can able to create more than one course in your genomeo site also if you want to make a course for first year students you can create a one site and then add different subjects of first year so different course will be within one genomeo site so so far we have discussed how to create a genomeo site and after creation of genomeo site we have discussed how to add a new course into genomeo site and after that we have discussed how to add and edit the topics in genomeo course thank you very much for any queries or suggestion kindly contact me at the email or mobile